Oh yeah, we're putting Tenacruel out, Tenacruel out front. Um, is he fully healed? Yes. For some reason I thought he wasn't. I guess you're gonna want Tenacruel for this battle, or not a Tenacruel, but this is why I told you to make sure that someone on your team knows Ice Beam. I need to ask for Drake the Dragon Master. There, right there. All of his Pokemon are weak to ice, and four of them have a times four weakness to ice. So ice, yeah. There you go. Ice is a good thing to have. And anyway, probably even better to have it on a water type rather than a fire type. So a couple of Pokemon have flamethrower. So to have it on a water type is even better. So he can open up a Sheldon. He evolved from some Bagon. Which I used to think was bacon. Well, I think that's because I, when I first seen it, I called it bacon because I thought bacon, so I called it a bacon, and then I realized it's bacon. It's probably the only name that I actually changed from my original thinking. Like, all right, so that's easily out of the way. And we got flagon or flagon. Uh, for some reason, you would think that that's who Shalgon would evolve into because name similarities, but no. Right, so it's going to use Sandstorm, now it's probably going to make Ice Beam miss, thankfully it doesn't though. So like I said, Ice Beam's going to kill, I probably going to knock it out. No. Oh, well, we'll freeze it instead. Hopefully it's not like freezing like it is now, where it's like they just defrost like the turn after, it's like not even... Okay, it's actually going to stay frozen for a little bit. Yeah. Okay get this thing out of the way. Oh, sure. Critical hit. Why did you do it the first time? I wouldn't get hit by Sandstorm. Not that Sandstorm does anything. We got another Flygon. Okay, I'm going to go somewhere else for that. I think Groudon, just because of that sunny day thing again. The only problem with this, though, is... I was thinking this through, is what I wanted to teach kind of cool Rain Dance. And that's because I didn't want this... Um, this sunny day to affect uh, Tentacruel Surf, but I'm not going to be using Surf in this fight, so it doesn't end up being a big deal. I'm going to need to use Slash, though. I'm already out of Fire Blast. Lovely me. Gonna, uh, I could bulk up, but I'm just going to go right into Slashes. Ouch! It's got Flamethrower. Okay, that was not smart, then. Oh, that's critical hit. Ouch. Um... Okay, well, regardless, it should be good enough to the point where an Ice Beam is going to kill it. That's because I was not faster than it, but it won't use Flame Throw. That's the good thing. It won't use, even though the sunlight's out, I don't believe it will use Flame Thrower on a water type. So I'll go back to Tentacruel and see if it will, will bite my trap and see if this Ice Beam takes it down. Dragon Breath, that 10% Paralyze, always Paralyze, back in Pokemon Gold, against Claire, yeah, that was a lot of Paralysis going along in those Dragon Breaths, I don't know why, like, they're just like saying, oh, does Dragon Breath stink, or what, okay, so, as far as I know, Altarias aren't as fast as you think they are, I th think if I remember my first round of Tentacruel is faster, and I'm still correct, well, not still correct, I guess still correct, um, half the damage it used a dragon dance last time, but it seems take down this time. Okay. This is not as long as I remember it being. Not at all. I remember this being a lot more frustrating. But we saved, he saved the most frustrating one for last, so that could be exactly what I'm thinking. Alright. Kinda cool, 46. Nice. Salamence. Definitely gonna be your most problem. I'm gonna go to Bowling just because I don't think he's gonna be doing anything for this fight, so I'm gonna use this and take a hyper potion of Tentacruel. Because it is flying dragon type. And I don't want oh not the intimidation gonna matter, but scared of that sound like this thing does no flamethrower, but again I don't think it will do that against Tentacruel. Plus it really doesn't have that high special attack, it's more of a physical maniac, if that's the right word. Just that, okay. Dragon Claws. That's probably the attack that's gonna hurt you the most. And it didn't even hurt me that much, because Boing really doesn't have that much physical attack, so I'm just gonna 
die. Well, I don't know why I didn't use Crunch the first time. Probably because it's a special attack, and like I said, well, you know what, it's, it's a pretty mixed attack, but I think it does still has decent special attack, but I think Tentacruel is going to be able to pull up a, to a hit, which is going to be good. At least just get one, lay one Ice Beam down on this thing is all I ask. Oh, well, that one really, that was, like, steady, like, he's taking another one, regardless of that special defense down, I'm just worried about the Dragon Claw, I mean, I do know Tentacle's good special defense, and I'm just worried that, um, what we got, Citrus Berry, with Ice Beams, that's not gonna matter, but as long as this thing fly, no, that was my last Ice Beam, Oh man, crap, Okay, what can counteract fly? I don't think anything can. No. I think Tentacruel is going to die. Surf will do whack. Won't do whack at all. Nothing. So, like, move like two dots. I did move like two things. Alright. Let's see. I just don't want this thing. I'm just going to try to lower this thing. It's going to keep using fly. I should just use one of those damn ethers I got. But... Nope. <laughs> I just don't want to because I don't think I'm going to be using Ice Beam for the rest of this fight, but, or for the rest of the Elite Four, but I just have one left. Maybe I don't even have one left. Well, I probably don't. I thought I had one left in my first take, but I guess I don't. And I don't have any Leopard Bears, if I remember correctly. Ouch. Alright, we're definitely switching, or maybe I'll just let Fly kill me. Maybe I'll revive. Yes, that's what I'll do. I will right now. Do I have a max revive? I should, but I don't. <laughs> I should, but I don't. Um, I'll just revive Brad on here. Because he's, as far as I know, he, no, nah, you know, he does he only knows Slash, really. That's going to be good against Salamence. Yeah, I thought I was going to kill him, though, so. Okay, what do we got? We got, what do we got? We got Gucci. Whoa! Uh, try to drill. I don't know if Girl Pet can beat this or not. Ooh, oh, I'm so sloppy right now. Sloppy. Okay. Flamethrower. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good at all. Ooh. Come on. Oh, no, it's in his forest door. Oh, no. God, God, God. See, look, I told you this thing was going to be the pain at all. If I only had another ice beam left, it would have been all cool. Nope. That happened. And let's see here. What am I going to do? I'm going to double team. I think I'm just going to let you die. Flamethrower. That sunny days thing is really killing me. I honestly thought Tentacruel would have been able to get it done, but... Heck, who is that kid? Alright, Weezing, lay down that Toxic like you always do, and just... He doesn't have the best special defense, so I'm thinking Flamethrower's walking all over it. Yep, just like I thought, now watch this Toxic on this. Nope, I got it. Alright, come on, come on. Alright, so I think I'm just going to go full restore up here. Might just let it lose its misery here. I'm going to need to use a full restore because it'll get rid of the burn as well. Didn't have to worry about max potions because... Uh, oh, still does a lot for having a lot of physical defense, but I guess it is just this crazy special attack, or physical attack or so. Well, you're still not doing very much. Yeah, I just have to use a hyper potion this time. I, like I was saying, I don't have to worry about getting max potions because hyper potion is 200, and none of my Pokemon have any more than 200 max HP. So I'd just be wasting like $500 or whatever it is per whatever you call it. 